Hey guys, I'm Lucero and today I wanted to talk to you about perfectionism, what it looks like and how to deal with it. Um, perfectionism is something that really has affected a lot of my life and the way that I see myself and um, you know, not even realizing that I was a perfectionist for a really, really long time. Um, and I think it's really important to talk about it because it manifests itself in different ways and can look different from person to person. Um, the American Psychology Association describes three different orientations um, of psycho of, of not of psychology of perfectionism, um, of which they are other, social, and self oriented. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about what each of those looks like and how to deal and all that good stuff. So other oriented perfectionism I can't speak a whole lot on because this is not a facet that I deal with but it's essentially ex having really high expectations of the people around you so your um, friends family romantic interests kids peers business partners etc basically just expecting a lot from the people around you and may or may not come with um, your own perfectionism so it's, sometimes it is um, giving a little bit and expecting a lot or it can be more of a tit for tat kind of thing where you give a lot but you also expect a lot without really considering what other people's limitations and abilities are. Um, again, I, I mentioned I don't really deal with this a whole lot. Um, my per perfectionism definitely is very internally based and I don't expect a lot from other people. In fact, I'm very reasonable when it comes to other people. You know, I'll think about like what's going on in their lives and how they feel and what their like abilities are and kind of just like base that accordingly and be like, okay, yeah, like everything's always chill. Just do your best. Um, so I really don't have much advice to give on that, but I did want to bring it up just in case um, that was a facet that maybe applied to you. You could look more into it. The second kind is socially oriented perfectionism, which is essentially maintaining this air of um, perfectionism. So not really admitting mistakes, trying really hard to keep up Airs essentially um, have other people believe that you are just like naturally super great at everything um, and this one it's, it's tricky to deal with I think particularly for me in the social media age where I kind of have to balance whether I'm presenting this picture of perfectionism say like on Instagram or on my blog um, or if I just want something that's aesthetically pleasing you know because I do tend to edit my photos for example I'll like adjust the saturation increase the sharpness pick out a nice filter um, but at the same time um, I don't know that it's completely like perfectionistic because I also make it a point to never really retouch pictures of myself a whole lot um, I've never you know made my eyes look bigger or made my hips look smaller or anything like that so on that side as well like I don't know that I deal a whole lot with that social air perfectionism but as far as you know admitting mistakes and admitting wrongdoings and admitting when things are hard that's something that I definitely um, recognize in myself that I actively avoid talking about the times that I failed or the times that I haven't done as well as I wanted to. Um, and it's difficult because for me and a lot of other people there's this feeling that the better I do the more they expect of me. Um, and you know there's a limit. There's a limit to how much I can do, to how much I can handle and how much I can um, really just take on in my life and it's scary to think about having people in your life who have such high expectations of you because you put that image out into the world. It's like this perpetual persona that you have to put on um, to maintain this image of effortlessness and excellence. It's hard and something that I've done to help remedy that at least for myself so that I feel like I'm being more honest and that I'm giving people the right idea of what I can and can't do is to be really open with my mistakes and the things that have gone wrong for me and the things that have been difficult for me um, and that's you know another thing too is remembering that as long as I learn something and as long as I do my best to avoid making this mistake again then it's not actually a failure it's just something that didn't go the way I wanted to and I'm learning from it. Social perfectionism is really weird um, 
and I find that I think a lot of people who have any sort of social media are probably um, at least a little bit familiar with it because social media makes it so easy to keep up that air but for me it is important to in some cases just try and be open about the things that have been difficult for me the third or and final um, orientation of perfectionism is self-oriented and this one's a little trickier because people who are self-orientedly perfectionistic that's a really long word um, are not likely to talk about it, are not likely to seek help for it, um, are not likely to, to really verbalize what their motivations are, and it really manifests itself in a lot of different ways, such as putting your self-esteem um, on your accomplishments and really not deriving them from anything else, such as like your good traits and your good personality. Um, really taking into account what other people think of you, um, and whether they believe that you are as great and as wonderful as you try to be. Um, and there is some debate over this, um, but I do find for me personally procrastination is really, really linked to my perfectionism. Uh, and again, there's debate on that. People are like, well, no, like perfectionists will always get things done versus the kind of mindset that I have, which is having such high expectations of myself, of anything that I do that I want to do it perfectly and if I don't think I have enough time if I don't have the energy to do it perfectly I won't do it at all and it's this is the one that really um made me rethink whether or not the traits that I had were healthy um because a lot of the traits that follow perfectionism are really could also be misconstrued as well they're just high achieving they just they have high standards they they aim for excellence and when it's done in a healthy way that's totally it's fine however when you're like me and there's that mentality where it's like if you do something it has to be all or nothing like I'm such an all or nothing kind of person and it's bad because some things you should just start on you know whether it's cleaning or a task or an assignment or anything else sometimes it is better to just have something to show as opposed to nothing and um for me something that's helped me a lot is doing um the one minute or five minute or however many minute rule um, especially when it comes to assignments where it's like okay i don't have to finish this right now but i need to work on it for five minutes because the hardest part is often getting started and overcoming um this grand picture of what you want it to be okay because i find that for me i'm so focused on what i want the final product to be i need it to look like this i need it to be like this i have an idea of what i want but it's so big that it's hard to really break it down and look at the details and be like okay well this is what i do first this is what i do next this is what happens after but as long as i'm tackling something which to me matters more you know um that's a start. Another thing that I have found um, with helping me overcome this like really strong desire to be the best at everything and be really perfect and hate myself if I wasn't perfect um, was learning to embrace and celebrate the effort versus um, the outcome. And that's something I don't think is emphasized enough when raising kids and educating them because growing up uh, I was you know in gifted classes and I took honors and AP courses and um, the justification was always like you're so smart and you just you do so well and you get such good grades and those really focus on the outcome but things like smartness intelligence creativity they're not inherent and they're not stagnant so people are not naturally born smart they might have natural tendencies to be really good at one thing or another but just because you were not smart or considered smart as a kid does not mean that you have to grow up to not be considered smart it's something you can work on and something you can actively change and become better at um, in whatever area matters to you um, and I find that 
for me, a lot of what I placed my self-worth on were outcomes. How did I do on tests? How did I do on applications? How did I look on a resume? And that's so detrimental because I can't be perfect at everything. Um, I just, I just can't. And that's okay. But growing up, very few people said, oh wow, you're a really good person. Let's celebrate that. Let's, let's talk about that. It was always a, well, this is what your grades are. This is what your GPA is. This is what you're doing. And it's so difficult trying to remove like my self-esteem from that. But I do find I'm a lot happier for it. Um, now that I'm in college and I'm in an engineering program, things get tough. Things get hard. And I can't be perfect at everything, but I've learned to celebrate the effort and to embrace the effort. Um, otherwise, I would hate myself right now. I really would. And, it, and it's funny because by celebrating the effort and focusing on what I've done to try and achieve a goal, I actually try harder because I my whole goal when turning in an assignment or going into exam um, is not necessarily to get a good grade. It, I mean, it matters and I want to get a good grade, but I want to be able to walk out of that room and say, I did my best. Um, and that's more motivating for me than saying, oh, I need to get an A or I need to get above a 92 or I need to do this. It's much more feasible and it feels like within my control to say, I did my best. And, and a big struggle for me has actually been admitting that I'm a perfectionist because I don't look like one. Um, and that partially goes to back to the whole procrastination thing. Um, because some things in my life, I do put them off um, until I'm good and ready to tackle them. So I don't have that really strong type A personality that's really bossy and detail-oriented and critical of themselves and of other people and really like schedule based and organizationally based so it was really hard for me to kind of be like oh you know your thinking patterns are unhealthy because I didn't feel like I was actually perfectionist because I had such high expectations of what a perfectionist looked like that I didn't meet those because I have a much softer type A personality where I do things want things done perfectly and I do want them done just the right way and in a way that makes sense to me and I tend to think my way is right most of the time but I'm also not going to step on anybody's toes if I can help it and I think that's where like the disconnect happens you know that was its, its own little thing just kind of recognizing that my behaviors were unhealthy and creating like a lot of self-esteem issues where I had such high expectations that I thought I was a really shitty person because I didn't meet them all. <sighs> and one area that has been difficult for me has been my YouTube channel because I have such high expectations. I want to post every week and make good content every week and do that. Look at my post history. Have I ever like posted cons consistently? Have I ever like actually posted week after week? No, no, I'll answer that for you. It's a no. Um, but I'm working on this too. Like I'm starting to work on this now where I don't have to post perfect content and it does not have to be consistent because I have other things to do. But this is for me and this is what I like to do. And I even, you know, going back like a year, I like having those records of like, oh, this is how 18 year old Lucero was like, feeling and viewing the world. Like that's cool. It's actually pretty awesome. So I've resigned myself to posting when I can and it's hard. It's really hard. I just want to be perfect and I want this to go perfectly and I want this to be the best that I can be and it it's not but it's okay. This is me working on being a perfectionist and uh, yeah. I hope this was helpful or entertaining or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.